<clears throat> I had the brilliant idea after seeing some things on Pinterest with sardine cans of making these. Um, I may have already made a video of it, but this is a sardine can, and they're not all the same. This one has a magnet on the back, so I could put it on my refrigerator. Make war, no, make tea, not war. Make tea, not war. And it's got a British guy on a tank with a teapot on top, and he's inside the teapot with a spoon. So I really like that, the sentiment. And it's got a magnet, so I, I'm gonna put it on my refrigerator. <clears throat> I crocheted this jute, and um, you know, I could color, make tea, not war, any other color. This doesn't have a magnet on the back. I put a string so I could hang it. I mean, I just was playing. And then this, I saw these pretty pictures I don't know whether I got it off of Pinterest or what. It doesn't have a magnet. It doesn't have a string or anything. And I did find some really pretty um, ribbon from last year that looked like trees. And I thought that would be pretty inside this. And I, I'm going to find some buttons to glue into this and maybe some pearls. I have some jewelry parts that I could do that with. And I need to... Adhere, you know, adhere it better with hot glue. This only has one uh, bit of ribbon in it, and this has it on both the outside and the inside. So I ran out, and when I was getting close to the end, I just did put it there. So I would, I would probably, you know, crochet something and put on the back. I've got some other things I could crochet. I need to do green, but <clears throat> it has something in it. Let me see what it says. Um, I don't know what that word is because weeding of the garden, I, I don't think it's weeding with a D or wearing of the green. That's what it is. Wearing of the green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can read. <clears throat> so I went to Joanne's Fabric and I don't go to the other places except Michael's I do go to sometimes, but I found this silicone thing and somebody was saying that I could um, use these things and that instead of using it for chocolate or melts, that I could use it for um, either hot glue, which that would be pretty expensive because shoot, it's $10 for a little package of hot glue. Or I could, um, you know, make these soldiers and gift boxes out of, um, well, caulk or something that you would put in to seal gaps in your walls, you know, your doors and thing, windows and things like that. So anyway, I thought I would share that with you that I have bought this. Of course, the other side looks a little different. You know, you'd fill it up with um, the, the stuff. And, and I've, I bought some things for trim as well, uh, because if you use 10 cans, I have like four boxes of tin cans in my garage and I wanted to do some crafts with them you know I've never sold anything I don't know if I could ever go to a place and say here buy this I never had before um when I do book signings as an author um you know I just talk about the book I don't say here sell something or buy something and um I I, I had 30 book signings with Fertile Prayers, Daily Fertile Prayers. I had um, one book signing before I quit um, at bookstores. I only had one book signing in a bookstore because three forensic specialists came. And I decided I didn't want to see if any serial killers would come. Because if forensic specialists will come, maybe serial killers will come. And I never saw Silence of the Lambs because I'm just way too much of a scaredy cat. So anyway, um, I don't know, but I think that there is some kind of caulk that you can paint. You can get paintable caulk. And I don't know if it dries well enough or if it would work. And so, okay, now I'm going to show you what my back porch looks like now that we've increased it. This is what I look at every time. I sit at my desk. I look outside and I haven't seen any hawks or owls or 
even ravens today, but I have seen a few birds come and get bird food. And yesterday I saw one squirrel try to get food, but he wasn't very successful with this little bird feeder. I like having a little touch of red as an accent color in the backyard. And I do want to fix some of the things in the backyard, like there's um, a bench to the left of the wood pile that Bob and I made. The wood pile is something Bob and I made. I would like to fix that. We have legs that I, I bought that are plumbing parts. I spent $200 on plumbing parts for our old front door. And believe it or not, the plumbing parts cost $200 at Lowe's before the pandemic. So now God knows how much it would cost. And um, my trees have leaves over on the right, the gum trees, and a couple of maples, and one, oh, what is it, a very tall, skinny, uh, what is it called? Um, I'll remember it after the video is over. But then this is a Japanese maple, and I've got a little Japanese maple that is not so pretty right over there by that broken bench, the bench that's got the crooked um, legs. And I, I told Bob I wanted to put the uh, plumbing legs on that crooked bench, and he just has not felt moved to do that. But, you know, he might come home tonight, and I, I might have that done. And when the sun comes out, hopefully my Japanese maples will be brilliant red, but they're not red right now. And hopefully today, since it's going to be 80, I'm going to paint the benches. Now, if it rains, then I need to put them in the garage, don't I? I don't know. What do you think?